Welcome to Smoke Signals, a hard-hitting news program for students, by students. What's up, Wolfpack? This is Mr. Martin with your week in Wolf Sports. Congratulations to the postseason honors to our EA football team, Colin Headland, Sammy Litherberry, Owen DeRozier, and Tate Johnson all got postseason honors. Congratulations, fellas. The Lady Wolves wrestling team continues to rack up some first place finishes. Danny Irvin and Allie Wooten both got first place at the Lathrop Tournament before Thanksgiving. Bailey Winahan got second, and Brooklyn Winahan got third. girls are six and six going into last night's game they have the 275 conference tournament coming up this week to end their season the junior high boys record is four and nine as they also end their season this week in the 275 Conference Tournament. They have five games remaining before winter break. High school boys started their season in the Mound City Tournament this week. A close loss to South Holt on Monday and a loss to Mid Buck on Tuesday puts the Wolves in the consolation game this Saturday at five o'clock versus the Mound City Panthers. team also got their season underway at the Mound City Tournament this week. A dominant win over South Holt on Tuesday and then a loss to Mound City on Wednesday puts the EA girls in the third place game versus Mid Buck on Saturday afternoon. Go Wolves! And now we're going to go to a winter wonderland with Julia. Thanks, Julia. Hopefully we get some snow days soon. And now Addy with student interviews.
Okay, we have our next one is Macy Step, Ian Step's sister. Anyway, would you rather explore the ocean or space? Um, space because ocean's scary. Cool. I'm here with Luke. Um, would you rather, <laughs> would you rather explore the ocean or space? They're both scary. Good answer. Okay, I found my next victim. Here's Josh. Would you rather explore the ocean or the space? And you have to tell me why. Um, probably the ocean because there's more living things there. Cool. I'm with Savannah. Would you rather explore space or the ocean? Um, the ocean. Why? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Dodson. Would you rather explore the ocean or space? Well, both are terrifying because I'm afraid of not being able to breathe, but I'd say the ocean just because it's here on Earth, I suppose. The answer. Gabe, um, would you rather explore space or ocean? Mm, the ocean. Why? I don't know, because we know 3% about the ocean. We know more about space than the ocean. Okay, what about you, Abigail? Neither. I don't want to die. Space, you could die. The ocean, you have to be careful or you could die. I, dry land. <laughs> dry land. Quinn, um, yeah. would you rather explore the ocean or space? Why? Uh, space, because I've always wanted to. I don't know. Yeah, space is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Isaac, would you rather explore the ocean or space? I'd rather explore space. Why? Because there's more space and not covered in water. Okay. Alex, would you rather... Explore space or the ocean? Ooh, um, space, because it freaks me out. So you want to explore space because it like, freaks you out? Well, it's just like really interesting, you know? Cause... Escape. Because it's so um vast and like we just don't know what's out there. Interesting. The Casey Martin. Would you rather explore space or the ocean? Ocean. Why? I love seafood. <laughs> Thanks, Addy. And now we're bringing back Lightning Round with Professor Liming. Hello, and welcome to the first edition of Lightning Round this year. As you can see, it's a special edition. We have the English department here at Tarkio High School ready to ask Professor Liming some questions about her and her family and her past. So, Professor Liming, welcome to Tarkio. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Glad to be uh, here. Um, so, tell us a little bit about your uh, professional journey and where you're from and, and how you got here. Well, I'm originally from Thurman, Iowa. I went to school at Fremont Mills. Okay. Uh, after that, I got to go to college out in Idaho, came back home, uh, started as a paraeducator, moved down to Florida to become a teacher. I got to work uh, with some pretty interesting students down there. Okay. okay, but if you could live anywhere, would it be Hogwarts or Hobbits? Okay, that's a tough one because, oh my gosh, Hobbit holes are so cool. But you don't have windows, and I really like windows and Hogwarts. I mean, come on, all the magic. Would, would I get to use a wand? For that? Heidi, we're trying to get to know Professor Liming, oh. so please tell us a little bit about your family. Okay, so I have um, a husband. We just got married this year. Oh, wonderful! And he is actually my college sweetheart from 20 years ago. We reconnected during the pandemic, and my son is Andrew. He is oh, 12 well. years old. <laughs> He's on the basketball team, oh, he's on... Would you rather play a board game or read a book? Read a book, oh my gosh. I'm reading a really good one right What's now. What's your favorite book? Oh my, you want me to narrow it down? Yeah, true. How can you Let's talk a little bit about your professional life. What's like your favorite thing to teach the students of THS? What's your favorite subject matter? Creative writing. Of course. I am so glad I got the creative writing classes. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. The seventh grade right now, they're working on script writing, and they are going to get to actually use the... How many costumes would you say you are? And do you keep, them, do you keep them in a separate closet? No, no, I have a section in the closet just for them, though. I get okay. my costumes from uh, Holy Clothing, uh, yeah, holyclothing.com. Okay. They're like medieval, because I like Renaissance fairs, and yeah, I'm Do they do Star Trek? No, no, they don't. Do you do Star Trek or Star Wars? Uh, Both. I thought I was the biggest nerd at THS, but I uh, 
I've found out that there are two that maybe have me beat. But it's nice to meet you, Professor Liming. Welcome to Tarky. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, this has been lightning round. Are you recording? Yep. Okay. Okay, so he says that Miranda and I are nerds, but have you ever heard him talk about Game of Thrones, um, the Kansas City Chiefs? Oh, and how many musical songs do you think he has memorized? Hmm? Hmm. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Professor Liming. And now we're going to see Tommy coding. Okay guys, we've arrived at Northwest. I'm the only girl. And other than this is when I have oh, But we're walking inside right now. Care, what group are you in? Uh five. You're not, you're actually in six, but uh, what group is Ian in? Oh uh, like eight. Okay. Are you gonna be okay without Ian? For yeah, I got coke. All day. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this A button and my partner Robbie's gonna receive my message. Watch this. Okay. There it is. <laughs> it's 149 and we're all done with uh, touring, I guess. So now we're heading back. We got a magnet. Oh, I it was a hey, look, this is a sticker. Oh. It's six of the bus. Oh. There's not There's really that guy is a. <laughs> tips of your toes and as you do just allow your eyes to tighten as all the muscles of your eyes relax now you guys have an outfit for the winter ball yet sure no nope maybe we should go to Lily's closet it's a good idea closet has lots of clothes to offer for people who are in need of these items. They have everything from girls dress clothes along with jeans and men's dress pants which is perfect for the Christmas ball coming up along with Christmas concerts. They also have sanitary products and hygiene products to make sure you're smelling good for all of that. It's been getting pretty cold out so if you are in need of a winter coat feel free to stop by and get one. Man we're gonna look so good at the dance. Yeah we are. 
We're gonna smell good as well. Look at all this product. Access code Oswert. Listen, I don't know who you are or where you came from, but it looks like you needed help getting out of there. Um, hopefully I can figure out what to do before. Hi, I'm Isaac. I'm here, talk your innovations. New stuff in the bathroom. Let's go. New toilets. New sinks. Talk your innovations. Thank you, Tommy. Isaac, I hope you're enjoying talk your innovations. And now Garrett with top five. Woo! Welcome back to top five with Garrett. We're doing top five cheese players. For number five, we have Sneed. For number four, we have Chris Jones. You know, he's tall. For number three, we have Travis Kelsey. He's just the best tight end in the NFL. For number two, we have Isaiah Pacheco. He's a good rookie running back. For number one, we have Patton Holmes. I mean, look at this throw. Like, he's literally the best, so, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Garrett. And now we're gonna go to Ian. And I hope you're parking good, because Ian still has lots of bread. <laughs> Again. Alright, first, um, shout out to Evan EAC on TikTok for giving us this idea. But, um... Here it is, JDs and Lentlemen, this is how many bread loaves can hold me. One loaf of bread. Oh, 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 oh. Two loaves of bread. Oh. <coughs> Three loaves of bread. Oh, oh. Never in my day. <laughs> We had to reinforce um, the three loaves of bread with a little bit of duct tape, but I think this will this will be good now. All right, three loaves of bread, four loaves of bread, five loaves of bread. Also, we got some reinforcement down here, so I can get out there a little easier. Little old me needs some help. Oh, oh, oh! oh the step stool is not a good idea. 10 loaves of bread. This is the mother of all bread duct tape. Uh, it's kind of our last, last ditch effort, so I hope this holds me. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, 10, 10, 10, oh. All right, one more time. It almost held. Ten loaves of bread. One more time. Oh. Oh. All right. I think that's enough. Here's a really disheveled ten loaves of bread. Oh, I got my eye. Oh. Ten loaves of bread. Oh. Oh. All right, this is all I have left. Uh, Three loaves of bread. Oh, shoot. Three loaves of bread. Oh. 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 Oh, man. Oh, I'm 
done. Thanks, Ian. We're all really ready for you to be out of bread. And now Luke and Cole with tips and tricks. Hi, I'm Luke. And here are my five tips and tricks on how to make your day just a little bit better. Yeah! Now for number five, we're going to start off with just a simple gesture, holding open a door for somebody. You'll see how... This guy did not get the door held open for him, and now he has to wait at least five seconds for the next time. Instead, you'll see here how somebody else holds the door open for him, and that can make your day just a little bit better. For our next clip, you'll see a guy that was tying his shoe and decided to stand up before looking above him. Now in this next clip, you'll see how visibly he looked before he stood up. And now his day is just a little bit better. Now you'll see a guy trying to do his homework in the dark with a flashlight. But now we'll see a clip where he does turn the light when he walks in. And that made his day just a little bit better. Next, we have two guys walking in the hallway, not paying attention. Now, as you'll see in this next clip, he watched where he was going. And now his day is just a little bit better and he doesn't have to pick up the papers. For our last clip, you'll see a guy that simply just wanted to sit in Mr. Martin's couch. But as you can see, the seats are already taken. But now, instead of showing up a few minutes later, he showed up a few minutes early and got his seat. And now his day is just a little bit better. Before turning in your bit to Martin, it isn't right here. try asking yourself, is my bit too long? Did I rush my bit? Is my bit good? Am I proud of my bit? If you are unsure of these, then you should probably rethink putting it in this week's episode and wait till next week. Thanks, Luke and Cole. And that's this week's Smoke Signals. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Why are we using a mic? Welcome to Smoke Signals. First we go to Miss Martin. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Get out of the shot. <laughs> go. Shut up. This is a bloopers, I guess. Would you accept this ring, Connor? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ian. We're really all ready for you to be out of the bread. And now to Luke and Cole with tips and tricks. <laughs> <laughs> um, Explain yourself, Abigail. I don't know. I had an orange. She is asleep. <laughs> Great. What? You said. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. <laughs> yeah, right. What do you want? What do you want? Something. Why? I don't know. <laughs> so? <laughs> did you stop the video and restart? Mm -hmm. No, you did not. I did. <laughs> you guys got office for the. What you saying? Um, I think it's Pantene to keep me. I found Mr. Dawson. Would you rather. Explore the ocean or space? <laughs>
And we're gonna be clean. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>